Ace's Great Blackbeard Search. This cover story is set between the events of Jaya Arc and the events of Post Ennis Lobby Arc. On an island somewhere in the Grand Line, an individual runs away from a restaurant after eating without pain. We find out that this individual is Portugas D. Ace, Luffy's brother. As he continues to run away from the chef, he reaches the dock, and he stops to ask people for information on Blackbeard. If you remember, uh, Ace is hunting Blackbeard at this point in the story. Gaining some info from the dock, he finds a man known as Dr. Blackbeard. Not realising that he has the wrong person, Ace attacks Dr. Blackbeard, which causes the angry villagers to throw him in the river. After going downstream, Ace is rescued from the river by a girl named Moda. Moda takes Ace to her home, where he wakes up later. After officially meeting for the first time, Moda has a favour for Ace. In exchange for some milk, Ace agrees to deliver a letter. Later on, Ace takes the letter and he leaves the island in order to deliver it. He makes his way to G2 Marine Base, where the letter is supposed to be delivered. Ace infiltrates the base. Typical of Ace, he helps himself with the food at the marine cafeteria. While in the cafeteria, he overhears a marine talking badly about Whitebeard and punches him. This causes the marines to chase after him, realising that he's either a traitor or a pirate. During the chase, Ace hides and defeats a captain and takes on his persona, even adding fake moustache to his face. Later on, at a different part of this same marine base, a meeting of the top officials of the base, including the captains, and as you can see on the left we have Ace with his fake moustache. This meeting is quickly turning sour because the coffee is extremely bitter. The commanding officer of the base, Komil, hates this bitter tasting coffee. At this time, a marine scout ship approaches the base. As the scout ship approaches uh, the base, it catches on fire. You can see that uh, Ace still finds the tea extremely bitter. Don't know why he's still drinking it. The marines, and you can see even Komil himself, are very worried because there are some top secret documents on this scout ship. A marine suddenly jumps into the flames, onto the boat, I guess trying to rescue this uh, top secret files. We can see that a few of the marines, even coming, are very surprised by this. This marine turns out to be Ace, and we can see here that he's rescued a marine, and in his right hand has a briefcase uh, which contains the top secret info. The marines quickly identify Ace and start chasing him. Before escaping, Ace hands Modder's letter to Komil, the intended recipient. Komil reads the letter, which asks the Marines if they would be interested to buy her milk. So this little side trip seems to have been beneficial for Ace as well, as he acquires new info on Blackbeard, and continues on his hunt to find this man. Here we have a Marine food ship stopping at Modder's home, to purchase her milk. Here it's revealed that the cooks of the ship and the G2 marine base are Mulder's parents and they happily embrace her. Now that they have milk the marine's coffee tastes much better, not as bitter anymore and they're all extremely happy. And we can see on the left that the marine captain that Ace impersonated is there also. And on this last page we have Ace sailing off to find Blackbeard.